President Trump is riding out the storm of the impeachment process, and one thing he may have going for him is impeachment fatigue. The number of Americans who say they're closely following the hearings has dropped from 70% at the beginning of November to 62% this month. Politics in the U.S. is so polarized right now, a lot of people just avoid talking about it. But what if you're married to the person you don't agree with? Mike Armstrong met a couple in Ohio who has found a way to navigate their deep political divide. You know, I, I do try to step back. This is something Kim Watson tries to avoid. Following politics too closely, like watching hearings, tends to get her a little worked up. I mean, I do feel like a lot of the Republicans are just, it's just, they don't want to hear it. You know, this country has a lot of problems. Well, when it comes to party politics, Kim and her husband, Chris, don't see eye to eye. The 2016 election was tough. She was a big Hillary supporter, and I was a big not Hillary supporter. When the election was called for Donald Trump, Kim was actually at what was supposed to be a Clinton victory party. That didn't happen. I didn't leave the house for five days. I don't even know how to describe it. I was very depressed. Those first weeks and months in the Watson home post-election were tense. The couple tended to stay out of each other's way. When Kim went to Washington for the Women's March the week of the inauguration, Chris says he thought it was nuts, but kept quiet. Yeah, I kind of held down the fort and kept my head low and tried not to say anything or do anything that would set her off <laughs> because she was not a happy camper <laughs> at that point. Yeah. Now, what was going on in the Watson home was a lot like what was going on outside it. The political divide in Lebanon, Ohio, and the country was growing. Well, three years later, it hasn't really improved. The two sides seem stuck in echo chambers listening to the arguments they agree with. Most of my uh, news is coming from National Public Radio, who I think is very fair. Oh, you know, it pisses me off when I listen to it. You know, because I just don't think they're giving the conservative side a chance. The Watsons have been able to keep things together. They just tend to work in different rooms and listen to different radio stations. But they say they know families and friendships that have been ripped apart since the election. A recent poll found a majority of Americans now avoid talking politics with people who don't share their views. Conversations now are more careful than they used to be. You almost try not to talk about it if you're unsure where that other person's coming from. I mean, that's usually the safest path. You just don't talk about it. Yeah. Come here, Popeye. That strategy may not be ideal for the long term. If you think of the United States as a family, not talking about problems isn't usually the best way to solve them. Mike Armstrong, Global News, Lebanon, Ohio.